And all this is going to be done on platforms, provided we have well-regulated private money and provided we have interoperability globally. It's very simple. Once we are connected to the Ripple in one shot, in one API, we can find local solutions worldwide without the efforts and the needs to actually travel. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. What's up, XRP fam? What's up, Crypto Ghost? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back on the mothership, chilling up on Mothership 589. How's everybody doing out there? Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Go ahead, throw on those shades, buckle up, and let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. Total cryptocurrency market cap down 3.3%, just under 2 trillion. XRP dropped to the mid 70s, but we're back up to the mid 80s, up about 2.9% in the last hour. 4% in the past 24 hours and 28.5% in the past 7 days. Taking a look at XRP here, we had this 50% pop here after dropping into the 50s. Now XRP had a nice correction of about 15-16%. to 16%, And now we're starting to pick back up here for XRP. XRP is still a long ways to go to the previous all-time highs. Also, we got the expert discovery coming up February 28th. Bags packed. Gala Games Music, a decentralized world that is more rewarding for artists and fans. Artists drop NFTs for sale on Gala Music. Artists are able to mint and sell NFTs without any restrictions from their record labels. These drops can be songs, albums, collectibles, tickets, and special fan experiences. Fan and collectibles purchase music NFTs. Fans can support their favorite artists by purchasing their music NFTs and receive exclusive experiences curated by the artists themselves. A portion of the NFT revenue goes to keeping listing costs low for fans and supporting emerging artists. Artists and NFT owners earn. Pair your music NFTs to a player node or a fan node to earn rewards. Every time a song is played on Gala Music Networks, both the artist and the owner of that NFT earn tokens. So you can pair your music NFT with one of these player nodes or fan nodes and earn some more rewards. And every time that song gets played on Gala Music Networks, both the artist and the owner of that NFT earn tokens. Listen to earn as well. If you don't own a node or a music NFT, no problem. Gala Music is making decentralized music more rewarding for everyone, especially those that just want to do what they love to do, listen to music. Every stream of a song NFT from an emerging artist earns that listener token. And ladies and gentlemen, we got the player node license now live. License required to operate a player node. Currently, one node is going for about 3,700 Gala. Gala Games looking to decentralize the music space. Also, if you pick up one of the player nodes, you can pair it with one of these Snoop Dogg tracks here. Gala brings you Snoop Dogg back on death row. And the stash box NFT is limited to 25,000 copies. And each box upon opening it includes one of 17 NFT songs from Snoop's new album. Once again, one of these songs you can pair with one of those player nodes. Celsius Network, Songbird has landed. We're pleased to announce that the Celsius is officially supporting the Songbird for XRP holders. Celsius doing the right thing. Digital asset investor, look at that playing field. For years, the crypto media pumped the idea that XRP was a bankster's coin. All while JP Morgan, Goldman, and the White Shoe Boys were working behind the scenes with Ethereum. The war is going on, but XRP will win. Johnny Deaton, since One River and Coinbase have a new partnership, sometimes one tweet is enough. I'm sure it's a coincidence, but in October 2020, One River starts investing in Bitcoin and Ether. In December 2020, Clayton directs an attack on XRP, making the ridiculous claims that XRP is a security per se, and then leaves the SEC forever. March 2021, One River hires Clayton. Coinbase to partner with One River to roll out new institutional platform. XRP the standard says, okay, let me get this straight. He filed a lawsuit against Ripple, left the SEC to work with One River, invested 600 million in BTC and ETH, 
Also, Roysman from the SEC is with Coinbase. Now this, crypto lender BlockFi to pay $100 million in settlement with the SEC. Ripple did the right thing by fighting back and not giving in. The SEC definitely took advantage of this since they never even fined Robinhood this badly. Today, BlockFi settled with the SEC for $100 million for its high yield lending. Some examples of where I think some of the, um, the smart regulators and, and forward-looking Congress people are operating. And I think they're going to uh, reap uh, big windfalls from that. I would be shocked if you didn't see a lot of the companies setting up shop in, in, in Wyoming or in Singapore or Bermuda. Or, you know, and we're looking at all of this. You know, we're a Silicon Valley originated company, traditional, you know, uh, C Corp uh, with investors holding shares. And I'm not so sure that that's the way of the future, right? If I can set up a, a liquid DAO model with open source devs that basically doesn't focus on cash flows but focuses on the utility of what i'm building and everyone can profit from that utility over time that actually changes the perspective that's not a securities based uh game anymore jeremy hogan says don't forget about the other sec crypto case interestingly the sec moved to strike libraries selective enforcement defense and was successful but did not even try and strike libraries fair notice defense the SEC also moved to extend discovery. For those who watched my interview tonight on GB News, the Coast Guy, here's a diagram peek into the financial system I mentioned, XRP, ISO 200 2022, the Interledger Protocol family in the ISO 200 2022 ecosystem. All roads lead to the bridge asset. We got Ripple, IOTA, XLM, XDC, Algo. Must be so hard not to mention Ripple XRP. Instead, we'll use e-money. By creating a much more efficient system in which central bank digital currencies and privately issued uh, stable coins or e-money can collaborate. Uh, what, what is the central bank doing? It is providing finality. It is the final settlement and it provides interoperability. So private money, can be trusted and that is that continues to be necessary with the um, um, stable coins they are backed by assets they are convertible in in uh, uh, say us dollars or other national currencies and all this is going to be done on platforms provided we have good well reg well regulated uh, uh, private money and provided we have interoperability globally for cbdc's that does not require time. It is instantaneous. And it is still final settlement. It still does the stability that our economies require. That is a huge opportunity. Second big opportunity. We can imagine a world in which regional uh, bank, well, back in the original bank, that brings the uh, reserves, digital reserves, of members and allows for better reserve provision for a whole set of countries. And when I think about the future, for small countries, that may be a fantastic opportunity to become stronger and more resilient on that basis. And three, when we think about uh, cross-border payments, which are today still expensive, slow, that is going to be, already we see it, and it's going to be a completely different world. All roads lead to the bridge asset, crawl walk, then we rock it. Why banking legacy is fintech's future, CEO MoneyNet INT. This is a phony war, while the fintechs are perfectly placed to build the next generational financial services, including through partnerships we provide like Ripple, who can circumvent international borders through blockchain. We need an infrastructure on which to deliver them. That's why the war between legacy and fintech is a phony one. Since both sides have what the other one craves, our future lies in combining banks' global reach with fintech's vision to the profit of us all. This is all the show to shake you out of the greatest digital asset, XRP, coming from CEO MoneyNet INT, utilizing innovative blockchain technology to provide 
cost-effective solutions for cross-borders. My name is Shai Trif and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Money Netint. We are a payment processor. We're just payment processing for clients. We are trying to make life easier for companies who works worldwide, who works in the digital world. We're giving the client of the, the, the feeling that he can act worldwide, but with a domestic environment that will help him to build his business much better than he can without our solution. Once we connect to the Ripple Net, our options and the variety of solutions that we were able to give our clients are much more enhanced and much more developed. It's very simple. Once we are connected to the Ripple in one shot, in one API, we can find local solutions worldwide without the efforts and the needs to actually travel worldwide and find local processor or to put the efforts because as everyone knows time is money connecting to the ripple and get one api one integration to the whole world allow us to to get to recruit and get more clients to our network hence to uh, to increase our revenue we can see the flow of clients who are coming we can see the increase of, of, of new potential clients that are coming. We can see the, the increase in revenue. We see a growth scale that for sure comes from the, the fact that we actually are able to invest less time in getting more solutions of the clients because we are connected to the Ripple. Hence, we can invest more time in getting more clients. The, the level of support that we are getting from the Ripple team, it's, it's something that is absolutely amazing. The connection with Ripple using the RippleNet help us to get an access to markets that we definitely were not there before. We didn't even thought how to start approaching those markets. It looks to us like, come on, we are based in, in London. How, how can I offer my services to clients in South America? But they actually made it easy. This is all a phony war to shake you out before they flip that XRP switch, the transformation of wealth. And while the USA lags behind, the rest of the world and the 1% diamond hands are plugged in. Are you plugged in? XRP Crypto Wolf Uber will start accepting crypto when it becomes more efficient and environmentally friendly. Sounds like they would love some XRP. Any chance of Uber accepting Bitcoin in the future? Are you having conversations about this internally? Like, could it happen someday? Uh, it definitely could. We're having conversations all the time. I think right now what we see with Bitcoin and some of the other cryptos that they are quite valuable as a store of value. The exchange mechanism is expensive. It's not great for the environment. As the exchange mechanism uh, becomes less expensive, becomes more environmentally friendly, I think you will see us lean into crypto a, a little bit more. So we're absolutely watching it. And if you say, is Uber going to accept crypto in the future? Absolutely. But not Bitcoin, not Ethereum. They're going to use the standard XRP. Flare Finance Epoch 20 delegation rewards will be delayed for a few days to allow the devs time for the final upgrades to the distribution manager system. Following the upgrades, delegation reward pools will run parallel to the FTSO reward system with identical lock and distribution periods. So delegation rewards for Epoch 20 will be delayed for a few days. Dev No, Ledger City. Ledger City commercial opportunity is a wait. I'll see you inside Ledger City. NFTs are us. Maybe some Ledger City ducks here. Someone asked, can I trade my building for a car? No buildings correspond to XRP accounts, but in the future, you'll be able to buy a sweet ride with your LCC Ledger City coin. Watch out for Ledger City coming to a ledger near you. Bigger the bag, the bigger the building. Equilibrium Games want to see more teasers and game progress. Please like and follow Equilibrium Games. Equilibrium Games XRP Ledger. Watch out for 2022. We're just getting started here. History lesson in the 2000 Super Bowl, there were many, so many dot com ads played, total of 14 different ones that it was dubbed the dot com Super Bowl and marked the top before many went bankrupt. This Sunday, the Super Bowl has many crypto commercials. Food for thought. Crypto Homegrow says, I see the crypto bowl pump with normies due to ads, then a dump Monday with major government announcements. Total strong fam. The Phoenix will rise, zero doubt. Sneak peek of the new Sun Wallet app I am currently working on, XRPL services. 
select the token to remove, it looks like you'll be able to remove multiple coins at one time instead of having to go through each one. Shout out to the XRPL services. JD says, had a buy signal on the daily chart for XRP, but are we going to close above the 86 cents on the weekly close? That would activate the weekly buy signal for a nice trade setup short term. If not, we may retest my low targets again before blasting off. Either way, I'm still bullish this year. Extra bullish. Dark Defender says, hi there, XRP finalized wave one at 91 cents. We expect wave two, a corrective ABC towards about 74 XRP targets $1.23, $2.03 with the third wave and $3.33 with the fifth wave. Key resistance, $0.91, cents, $1.13. Key supports, $0.75 cents and $0.70. Cents. We expect to see a second Elliott wave towards $1.23, $2.00 and then the fifth wave expected XRP to hit about $3.33. XRP still waiting on those new all-time highs. And with that being said, XRP versus BTC, we still got a long ways to go, but XRP starting to wake back up here. XRP coming from behind to steal the show and melt off some more faces. I hope you got those bags packed. XRP still under a dollar. I am the XRP bag man, the moon commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in smashing the likes and i hope y'all continue to stay extra extra bullish out there continue holding those good vibes remember to sell the fud buy up that bag and don't forget to spread that liquid love peace out crypto family i think london ready my bag's getting heavy by the time we blast them i have so many you'll be getting gems getting gems on a steady they try to shake me out but i was born ready dropping down the price then i be getting plenty they want all your bags and they want all them empty 10 cents please go ahead don't tempt me i got many bags v chains got the zills